Hey everybody, my fan's on. I'm gonna turn my fan off. When I first started putting this passport on my laptop, um, it wasn't expired and now it's expired. I don't have a passport technically, which is in line with a lot of Americans. Um, Um, okay, well, the first headline is that 10% of Americans don't have passports. Oh, and it's a, there's a myth easily found online that only 10% of Americans have passports. Uh, while that was true in 1994, the figure is now more than 40%. Uh, so, uh, a little under half of all Americans don't have passports, uh, which is crazy. And I guess I am in that 40%. Um, the reason why it's on my laptop is to remind me to get it done. Under here, you see a big piece of paper. That's my paperwork to get my <laughs> to get a new passport. The thing is, is that it costs like two hundred dollars uh, if you want a passport and like a passport card, um, which I don't know if I want to pass. I don't even what. Let me look that up. What is a passport card? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. These were in papers, please. Um, <laughs> okay, huh? What are they? They can be used for land travel to Canada, Mexico, Bermuda, and the Caribbean. Huh. Let me ask ChatGPT, where can you go with a passport, uh, a U.S. a U.S. passport card? Okay, then why have a? Okay, I might not. You know, my my dad he told me because I was turning eighteen. Uh, and he was like, the last thing, one of the last things I'm going to buy for you is you renewing your passport. So he gave me $195. Um, and that was a long time ago. And the reason why I'm complaining about the price now is because now it's like so long ago that the money isn't even really even real anymore. And I'm not complaining. I'm happy he gave me almost $200. But it's like, you know, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I, I have more than $200 now in my checking account, but it's not like. It's not as if he just gave me that money, you know what I mean? Um, and so I might save some money by just not getting a passport card. Why would I get a passport card? Uh, because I can, I already have an enhanced ID, so that means I can go to Canada and Mexico just with my ID. Um, and I'm not really going to the Caribbean or Bermuda, so... Um, yeah, I'll just get a passport. Anyway, um, I woke up at 5... 10 this morning. Um, I walked four miles on the treadmill. Um, in the middle of it, I recorded a very strange video. I intended it to be my Leo the P.O. video for today, but um, it, it was very weird. I um, Sometimes I get into these weird mind states where I'm under the impression that future me will not want to have any of this knowledge public or like thought about. Uh, and so in a lot of these, you know, strange states I'm in, um, I write down, you know, future you is going to want to delete this and get rid of this, um, so don't. And I, I, I mentioned this in the video I recorded, um, and I think that's strange. I think that's very strange. I think that's a strange thing to do. Um, but I don't because it seems very important to pass the Leo that I don't destroy this, this, these, this knowledge, you know. Uh, so um, in the description, there's going to be a link to that video. Um, the very weird video of me in a very sort of altered headspace because um, I don't know I think it might be important for past Leo I think he would really care about that but anyway um, yeah this morning I had rice and beans like leftover rice and beans for Mexican food and then I also had some chicken and then I had something else what did I have Oh, biscuits and gravy, leftover biscuits and gravy, and that was really tasty. Uh, and yeah, 
have a pretty, I've pretty much not eaten anything else. I ate some licorice, but that was it. Um, and for dinner, we're having pizza, because there's a good deal for pizza on Tuesdays. Um, and nothing else is really going on. Oh, I uh, studied for a lot of today. I still didn't do as many as I wanted, but I did a good amount. Uh, for core one, I got 82%. That's not true. I got 87% on core one. The CompTIA A plus exam is split into two tests. And so for the first test, I got 87%. Uh, and it has a 75% passing score, but for the second one, I got um, uh, 92% and it has a 77 passing score. So that's pretty good. I'm going to keep studying. I think maybe next weekend I'm going to do the uh, actual exam, which is scary because it's $500. I talk about money way too much. Bye.